Well, hello there! Now that we own the SEC Shorts page, it's time to get the truth out there to the masses and in an easily consumable social media format. These are the top 10 reasons the Big Ten is better than the SEC. Number one, the conference championship game actually means something. Unlike the SEC, where you don't even have to play in the darn game to go to the playoffs. The Big Ten championship game really means something. Because as we all know, the winner doesn't have a chance in Hades to make the playoffs. Number two, you don't really have to worry about recruiting battles with the Blue Bloods because we're not really going after the same players. Those Wisconsin walk-ons are going to be pretty good this year. Turning no stars into two stars is what the Big Ten is all about. Number three, Big Ten tradition. Take Rutgers, for instance. They invented the game in 1869 and still refuse to this day to use the forward pass. Now, I think that's a nice tip of the cap to that old 1869 team, don't you think? Number four, championship shirts last a lifetime. Unlike those Alabama fans that have to buy a new championship shirt every other year, if you're a Michigan fan, you're probably still rocking that 1997 Lloyd Carr special. Because here in Big Ten country, when you buy something, you buy it for life. Number five, unconventional play calling. You show me anyone in America who could have predicted what James Franklin dialed up after two timeouts on fourth down against Ohio State. We keep you on your toes here in Big Ten country. Number six, no one poaches your coaches. Well, I guess it's that time of year again where Nick Saban has to replace his entire staff because they've all been hired away. Meanwhile, over in Iowa, Kirk Ferentz is going 20 years strong, getting those boys ready for another seven and six season. Number seven, Big Ten teams know how to share. Why have one non-playoff bound team win your division when you can have two? Hated rivals Michigan and Ohio State put aside their differences to be co-East Division champions. You know, it just warms my heart. Number eight, anybody can beat anybody. One second your team's in the thick of the playoff hunt, next thing you know, they're getting beat by 29 by a team that's gonna limp their way to the Music City Bowl. Now that's what I call parody. Number nine, Big Ten hospitality. If you're an out-of-conference team visiting a Big Ten stadium, you're family. Just ask Duke, Eastern Michigan, Colorado, Temple, Akron, Missouri, Buffalo, BYU, and Troy. Now, Nebraska not only let Troy win, they gave him $1.1 million. Now, you try to find that kind of kindness south of the Mason-Dixon. And number 10, we have Urban Meyer. Only a handful of active coaches have won a national championship, and Urban Meyer is one of them. And you can betcha he's hungry to add a few more. He's always, oh, oh no, Steve, is this true? Oh. Steve, remind me to edit this part out. Steve, you can edit these, right? Renaissance Bank, the best bank in the South. Visit renaissancebank.com to learn more.